Hello everybody, I'm going to share with you from the book of Revelation chapter 3 from verse 14 to 22. I'll be reading them bit by bit. I'll read the scriptures and then explain and read some more and explain. And to the angel of the church of the Lodicians write, this thing says the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. God wants us to believe in him and to be hot in him and or cold in him than to be lukewarm. He loves us very much and he wants to give our all to him, to be passionate about him. He, he wants us to excel in loving him, in doing things for him, activities for him. He loves us so much that he doesn't want us to give up. And in verse 16, so then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. So God will vomit us out of his mouth if we are not hot or cold, or cold or hot. He wants us to be cold or hot only, not to be lukewarm. If you are lukewarm, if you say, oh, you know, I believe in Jesus and I believe in other things as well. No, he doesn't want to be shared. He wants it to be hot for him. He wants you can either be cold or hot for him. He wants it to be cold for him or hot for him. And I choose to be hot for my God. And verse 17 says, Because you say, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. No, God sees things differently from the way we see them. We think if we are rich, we've got all that we need on earth, and yet we are miserable, we, yet we are wretched and miserable, and poor, blind, and naked. And this is what God says. You can see other things in us that we don't see, and yet we think we are self-sufficient. And verse 18 says, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye self, that you may see. So God wants us to buy gold from him, that we may be rich and and white garments he wants us to put on white garments so that we may we may please him and that the shame of our nakedness may not be revealed so god is seeing somebody who is naked and that we think we are rich and have everything and that he can see your need that you need refined gold and you need white garments to please him. And as in verse 19 it says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore be zealous and repent. So Jesus loves us. That's why he wants to be zealous and to repent. That's why he is chastening us. Because he wants us to be strong and, and healthy and happy in him. If you love Jesus Christ, you will repent and you, be, you, you have to be zealous in God and you have to repent. If you love him, he will give you joy and happiness and happiness on earth. In verse 20 it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, 
I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. So God is knocking at our doors. Are we going to open for him? He wants to come and dine with us and us with him. He's so loving. He's still the same yesterday, today, and, to, and forever, and tomorrow, and forever more. <laughs> yeah, he loves us so much. He wants us to believe in him and trust in him. To him who overcomes, I will grant, this is verse 21. I will grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. So this in this world we face trials and tribulations and temptations and Jesus Christ wants us to overcome. If we overcome, he will... You will help us to you grant us to sit with him on his throne. Like he sits with his father on his throne. And he who has an ear, that's verse 22 now. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. If you have your ears opened. God will speak to you and you will repent and you will hear what God is saying to the churches. You know what? I chose this because I was just thinking that, you know, Jesus loves us so much. He cares for us. And last night, as I was sleeping, he woke me up. Our God in heaven woke me up. And then, he showed me heaven again afresh <laughs> and uh you are showing me where my father and my mother are i i wasn't sure of where my father is but now i'm so certain that he's in heaven he was in the clouds in heaven and it was there was bright light there and i'm 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 so thankful to god that he woke me up in the night to show me that that type of heaven. I was so happy to see it. It's so beautiful. I know I've been I've been to a similar heaven, but this time it was a fresh thing that was happening to me because I was seeing my father in heaven and he was talking to me from heaven, saying that he was there in heaven and uh it, it is so beautiful there. Yeah, it's so wonderful that God loves us and he cares for us. May you be blessed and may you be richly blessed and be happy. And may you believe in Jesus Christ forever and evermore. Thank you.